Good morning. Welcome to Lee WTV. I'm Ed. Lee. And today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So we're going out to breakfast to Waffle House. Then we need to go to King Photo because we have some DVDs and CDs with pictures and videos that we want to have transferred to this USB flash drive so that we can post them on later videos. Have because, a nice day. Because our wedding anniversary is coming up and some of what's on the DVDs was taken in China when we got married. We're exciting. Off we go. Enjoy. Have a nice day. See you later. Let's go have breakfast. something degrees out. 23 in the car now. It's very cold. But it's sunny. Very sunny. Enjoy the view of the Shenandoah Valley. Right here for everyone's back. They want it. 
Next stop is King Photo, so we can get some DVDs put on this USB flash drive because our anniversary, our wedding anniversary is coming up, and this has video from our wedding in China. Wonderful, have a nice day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we 
about any copyright protection being on there or anything like that. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye. Bye. Here's the local high school closed for Martin Luther King Jr. Day. High school recently underwent some renovations. So it looks a lot better than it did before. Still more renovations to come. I'm Ed Schultz, co-founder of Relaxation Unlimited and EDMA The Healthy Living Way. I'm here today to talk to you about lavender essential oil. Now lavender essential oil is perhaps the most versatile and commonly used of all the essential oils available. The name lavender comes from the Latin word lavare, which means to wash, because ancient Romans used to use lavender oil in their bath water to help them relax and also because lavender oil has a disinfecting quality. So one of the most common uses of lavender oil is relaxation. For example, all you need to do is open the bottle of essential oil and by the way EDMA essential oils all have a Euro dropper which is a special kind of dropper so that you can release just one or two drops at a time. Just rub some of it in the palm of your hands, like this, and on your finger. Maybe put some on the back of your neck, on your temples, or behind your ears. Or you can just rub it in your hands and inhale it several times, and it does have a very calming effect. You can also rub it on the bottom of your feet just before going to bed. Or you can put a few drops on your pillowcase, put a few drops in a handkerchief, and leave that next to your pillowcase. You can also take a plastic misting bottle, put some distilled water in it, put several drops of lavender essential oil in that, shake it up and then mist it around your room. Or if you have a burner like this, you can put a few drops of essential oil there, light your candle and it'll help to diffuse throughout the entire room. So it can be used for aromatherapy as well as using it for its disinfecting qualities. For example, if you get a bug bite of some kind, an insect bite, let's say from an ant or a mosquito bite, put a drop or so of lavender essential oil on that and rub it in and you'll notice a few things will happen. One is that the pain or the itch will subside. Also, it will disinfect the wound so it will kill any germs or bacteria that may be there. And you can often find that 
the wound itself will heal a lot quicker than it normally would. So it can be used for bug bites, it can be used for cuts, abrasions, anything like that. You can also use it, as we're, as we're talking about relaxation, you can use it as a massage oil. Of course, you wouldn't use it directly for massage. Now that's one of the things that's very important about any kind of essential oils. Generally, they are so highly concentrated that it's not good to put it directly on the skin. Now, lavender oil is an exception. Lavender oil can usually be used directly on your skin. But if you're going to use it for massage, what you do is to dilute it in a carrier oil. For example, this is sweet almond massage oil. You would put in a 20, 30 milli, excuse me, a 30 milliliter bottle like this, you'd put maybe four or five drops or more if you want it stronger, and then mix it up. And you can use it to massage your hands if you have arthritis or rheumatism. Uh, any sore muscles in your arms or your legs, your back, your neck. You can use it for a full body massage for your partner, for your wife, your husband, even for your children. Lavender oil has been found to have a very calming effect on children. I've even heard about some school teachers and workers in hospitals who put lavender oil in a diffuser let it diffuse around the air, around the room, and it helps to calm patients, it helps to calm rowdy students. Another way that you can use lavender essential oil is, for example, this is Edie May Natural Lavender Relaxation Bubble Bath. It's a natural product that has lavender oil in it, so you put some of this, a few squirts of this, into your bath, and not only do you get foaming, relaxing bubbles, but the aroma from the lavender helps you to relax even more, even more deeply. Another product that we have that has lavender oil in it is this liquid hand soap because of the disinfecting qualities that lavender oil has. You can also use a lavender aromatic body oil. This is a fragrance oil. It's, it's a man-made product, but just the, the aroma, the scent of lavender, is something that does have that calming effect. If you're soaking your feet, and we do recommend that you soak your feet for relaxation, put a few drops of lavender essential oil into the water. Not only will it help to increase circulation in your feet and your legs, but it'll also have that calming effect that we're talking about. So the next time you're uptight, you feel stressed, you want to relax, Lavender essential oil is one of the best things that you can use. It's a very natural product. There are no side effects whatsoever, and it'll help you to get that kind of relaxation and rest that you want, that you need, and that you deserve. We'll see you again another time.